I have David Daniels, the president of UTD up in Richardson, and he's joining us here today for the Texas Institute inauguration. So I'd like to ask you a couple of questions today. When this man, John Shapiro, came to you, what did you think he was talking about? Well, I knew exactly what he was talking about. I used to be the dean of engineering at the University of Illinois, and we had uh, several major research centers. One of them was a $100 million research center on supercomputing. So I understood exactly what John was talking about in trying to partner up federal and state resources with uh, industry resources to try to make a major focused research enterprise. And so when uh, I first started talking with John, we started talking about how to do that and what would be necessary in order to accomplish that. So we sort of uh, quickly dove deep in, in terms of how to, how to accomplish what he wanted to try to. Well, research and development obviously plays a big role in all of the economic situations that we get ourselves into. We got ourselves into a situation that we might want to get out of now. How can research and, and development help in that? Well, I think, uh, especially in cities like Dallas-Fort Worth, which is one of the biggest technology delivery uh, metropolitan areas in the world, one of the key ingredients is innovation. There is a churn in the business world, and especially in the technology business world. And I really believe that here in Dallas-Fort Worth, we want to win by out-innovating everybody else. I don't think we want to try to compete with India or China on who has the lowest wages, but where we want to compete and where we want to win is who makes the next set of discoveries, who will invent the next set of technologies that will be sustainable technologies for the energy future. That could just as easily happen in Singapore as it happens in Dallas-Fort Worth. And in fact, as Mr. Shapiro or someone mentioned today, there is tremendous focus between government, research, and business in cities like Singapore and Beijing. We have tough, tough competition out there. And the only way we're going to win that competition is to bring universities, bring businesses, and bring governments together in a very focused way on high opportunity research and innovation. And I think sustainable energy is perhaps the highest of the high ground right now in terms of what we in the world needs and where there are genuine opportunities to uh, create value and wealth for citizens. That's a great answer. So the country is splitting up into regions really right now. We have the Chicago experiment that you're talking about. We have Research Triangle Park. We have Silicon Valley. Is North Texas poised to be the next region that's on that level? And what can government really do? Well, I think there are research clusters, and certainly uh, Silicon Valley is an obvious one. The Boston-Cambridge area is another one. And what you find is alignment between these centers of innovation and the combination of great universities and great business environments. So right now, Dallas-Fort Worth has got a great business environment. And in fact, is anyone in the country doing better than, than Dallas-Fort Worth right now? Probably not. And I think we have more uh, mass, if you will, in totality in our universities than we realize. My university, UT Dallas, is relatively small and relatively young. Uh, we do not yet have the research capacity of, say, an MIT. But if you combine all the universities of this region, collectively we do have that uh, a comparable level of talent. So the key for us is to figure out how to work together and leverage the resources that we have. And if uh, we do that, I think we can say uh, in the future not only are we one of the uh, most successful cities in terms of technology delivery, which we are today in the world, we are also one of the most successful cities in the world in terms of technology innovation and new business creation. That's what this is all about, innovation and job creation. So again, what can government do? <laughs> I think government can partner with universities and partner with businesses. There are deals that can be done that are sensible deals. For example, if we can attract some federal dollars, leverage it with state dollars, uh, leverage that with business dollars, leverage all that with university investments, then you have a true situation where we all get far more value from the investment than any one of us put in. But if we go our separate ways and we say, oh, that's the federal government problem, or that's the university problem, or that's the city's problem, or it's that city's problem, not this city's problem, then we wind up mired in uh, no action whatsoever. Uh, these discoveries will be made. Someone will figure out uh, where the new sustainable technologies are going to come, uh, what the new energy delivery and management systems are going to be. It will happen. The only question is, will it be us? And if we all work together, it can be us. In fact, I'd give us as good a shot as anyone of uh, claiming that high ground if we're smart about it. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Right. Thank you Thank so you. much. Great, Great answers. Thanks for your time.